Hey guys, today I'm going to give you some important tips on how to get professional looking self-portraits or selfies. So instead of looking back at your photo and going like, oh god, you can look at them and go, damn I look good. First of all, what do you need? A camera? If you have a tripod it'll make things easier, but you can also use a stack of books, furniture that you're not using at the moment. The lens that I'm going to be using is this 50mm 1.4 from Canon. It's my big time favorite lens for portrait photography. You'll need a remote shutter or a delay function that you can use with your camera. Phones have that too, so you press the button and then it takes the photo after 3, 5, 10 seconds. Then you need an idea. It doesn't have to be, I'm going to have these eagles soar by while the leaves are blowing and this lightning bolt is... I'm going to stand by the window. If you feel like your idea is not good enough or you just don't feel inspired, research online and try to replicate what you find. So you can research portrait photography or self-portraits and then if you see something that you like, replicate it and you're gonna learn a lot just by replicating what you're seeing. Once you have the idea, take the camera and play around trying to see the framing. What do you want in the frame? How do you want to place the camera? You want to place it up here, you want to place the camera down there, you want this angle more like this or more like that. Play around, try anything you can come up with. If you think that that might be a good idea, but maybe try it. Try it and if you don't like it, hey, having a sharp focus is going to be one of the tricky things to get when taking a self-portrait. What I do is I take a tripod that I'm not using, something that I have around the house, place it where I'm going to be standing for the photo, then take this thing out of the picture and replace it with myself. I can set up my camera so it takes a photo every 3 seconds and I'll choose to take a total of 30 pictures just to be safe. Always take one photo first to make sure that the focus is right and the light is right too. So I want to do something in which I am in the dark and then there's the lit window with a white burnt background almost. And I want to be something like this, although this is very uncomfortable. What I want to do here is just a little more close-up. I'm going to be using the light coming from the window and I have a little bit of light out there just to give me a little bit more of a soft shadow. This way I can clean it up in post. And you're done! Now you can just take those pictures and brag about looking like a... Before I finish this video, I want to say a big, big thank you to each one of you. We just reached 2,000 subscribers, and if you're new to the channel, a big welcome. Hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video.